iMovie 3.0 for iPhone and iPad has just been released with some brand new features that may just make the best free video editor for iOS even better. Let's take a look. The new features here in iMovie are Magic Movie and Storyboards, both of which will make your video creation process on your iPhone or your iPad even easier. You can hit pause and check out all the new details or just hang out because we're about to dive in and take a look. To make sure you've got the latest version of iMovie, jump into the App Store here and search iMovie. You should see here an update button. Tap on that one and once it says open, tap on that and you're ready to jump in to the brand new version of iMovie. And you can see we've got the magic movie option here. We've got storyboards and you can take both of these and throw them into your conventional timeline if you want to edit your movie in more detail. Let's hit the continue button here and dive in to iMovie. When you launch iMovie, you're now going to have three options, magic movie, storyboard, and the standard movie option. Now, if you want to learn about using the conventional movie creation tools here in iMovie, check out all the videos linked up the top and down in the description because there's a heap of tutorials right here on the channel that can help you get started. But you're probably here to learn about the new features, so let's dive into those now. Let's start with Magic Movie by tapping on the Magic Movie button. Now, Magic Movie is an automated video creation tool here in iMovie. So what we can do is jump into our videos here that are stored on, this case, my iPad. Let's just grab a few of these, uh, me walking around, me looking at some delicious beer there, uh, some shots here of the river, and even this shot of uh, my cool SSD drive. So I've selected five videos there I'm going to hit create magic movie it's going to grab these five videos and it's going to create a movie file from these videos automatically there you go that's how quick it is here we go we've got all of the options here should we hit play and see what this movie is like without any editing let's do that now probably destined to win all the awards at the next big movie festival. But you can see here, there's some cool options. It has grabbed all these clips. It's worked out which ones should use sound, which ones should be silent and have the background music. And it's included all of these here. Now they've got a bunch of options that we can now do to edit these. So let's jump in and show you how we can turn this automated movie into something a little bit more customized. First up, let's look at the style selector. So in the top right, you'll notice we've got this button here let's tap on that one and you can see here we've got a bunch of different styles now at the moment it's using the minimal style but you can see here there's a whole heap but if we slide across with my finger look at this there's a bunch of them now if you want to make sure you've got all these available you can hit this download all button or you can download individual styles by just tapping on them like that I'll do that for this notepad and there you go we've now got that style downloaded I'm also going to slide across now and download all so that we've got all of these there you go they're all downloading ready to use for future projects now because this is a music channel why don't we choose this one this is the synth style which i must admit i've not looked at yet but we'll choose this one and we'll hit on done so now if we play our movie it is going to be customized using some different effects and some different sounds let's take a look now And as you'll notice there, the way it uses the music is actually pretty genius because it makes sure it fills up just the frames that you need and it does duck the audio of that background music in and out if you've got a clip that it has sound versus one that it thinks doesn't need sound. Now you can adjust all of that with the edit function and that's what I'm going to show you now. So let's select this first clip and we'll click on this button here, the edit button. Now we can hit the edit clip here. We can also retake the video or photo or we can replace it. If we're not happy with that one, we can replace it from our library. Let's hit the edit clip button. And from here, we've got all of the standard options that you have. Now, once again, heap of videos here. If you want to learn how to split, if you want to learn your titling, if you want to learn how to use background and foreground audio, all of those are covered here on the channel, all linked down in the description. So let's just do a couple of quick edits. Say we wanted to change the speed of this clip. Say we wanted this to be like a slow-mo start. Let's do a, uh, should we do a half speed start here? We can change the speed, go to half speed and check out this clip now. There you go, we've got the nice slow motion walk. 
in that first clip. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, we can change other things here as well. We can adjust music and things. The one thing we'll probably want to adjust is the text here because at the moment it just says Magic Movie and we probably don't want it to say Magic Movie there. So we can select that text and you can either remove it or you can just uh, type in whatever you want to be the title of your video. There you go. I've gone with Pete's Walk and uh, we can put as much text in there as we want to. And now when we play this back... we're good to go. We can adjust that there. So like I say, there's a whole bunch of different options that you can play with down here. You can click through or tap through all of the different clips here. You can trim the clip if you want a little bit more or a little bit less of each clip. You can easily adjust that by just adjusting your clip length there and uh, making the video exactly how you want it to be. So you can combine the automation of Magic Movie with your own custom edits. So once you've done all your editing, you just need to hit the back button here in the top left and you're back to this page here. You can then hit done in the top corner and here you go. You're ready to go. You can go back to your projects or you can rename your project, which I'd recommend you do. It'll call it Magic Movie. We can rename that there to whatever you like. And then if you want to share it, you just hit the share button down the bottom here. That'll bring up your standard share sheet here. You can just save it as a video directly to your iPhone or your iPad or you've got all of your other share sheet options there. So let's just save a copy of this video. It'll export the movie and drop that straight into my photos library, ready to use here on iOS. There you go. That is done. The other option that we have here is the storyboard option. Let's dive in and show you what that's all about now. Once again, we're going to hit start new project. And this time we're going to hit this button here, the storyboard button. Now you've got a whole bunch of different storyboard options. Once again, if there's ones that you haven't downloaded, you can hit those. They'll download there. If you want to download all of them, just hit the download all button at the bottom. And there you go. They're all going to start downloading, ready to go. Let's choose one of these and create a storyboard movie here in iMovie. Now, now in a future video here on the channel, I'm actually going to use the product review storyboard to do a product review right here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to check that one out. But for this one, let's scroll up and let's just use this one here, the About Me template here. We'll jump in here. We now get to choose our style. So once again, we can scroll to the left and the right and find the style we want. Let's choose this poster style this time around. We're going to tap on that one and we can hit the create button here in the top right if we're ready to go. This time we're presented with a storyboard. So you can see over here on the left, it's going to ask you different things. So we've, we're starting here with a medium shot. We've then got a wide shot, a close up. We've got a reference shot. So this is going to help you build out your about me video. So this is a very simple one and probably a good one to start with if you want to build yourself a personal profile or something to throw in your resume. So what we can do is let's go the medium shot. We're going to tap on this edit button here and we can either record it. So we can take a video straight here on your iPhone or iPad if you're recording it right now, or you can choose from your library. Let's hit the choose from library option. And here's the medium shot of me walking along. So we'll uh, tap on that one. And there it is. So this is our medium shot ready to go. We'll hit the play button. Now that's actually the video we just created, so that's probably not a good one to use. We'll hit the edit button again here. Here's why I did this on purpose, of course. We can actually edit the clip or we can actually replace it. So I'm going to replace this clip because I didn't want that longer clip. I wanted this short one. So we'll tap on this one instead. Three second clip here. There you go. It's now this clip here ready to rock and roll. And that's going to be the first clip that we use here on this one. We can then go to our wide shot. We can hit the edit button on there. We can choose this one from the library. I don't really have a wide shot, but let's pretend that uh, this shot of the river here is my wide shot. There you go. That adds that one here into our timeline. So you build out your timeline shot by shot here. You then go into the what and you follow that same process the same each way. Either just hit the plus button over here to add your clip or you can hit the edit button here to edit, to change, to replace your clips and build out the timeline of your complete video. All right, so I've filled out all the videos here and the cool thing is here in iMovie, you can use video clips, but you can also use still images here. So I've used this clip from this very video here and if we play on this bit... 
it's actually going to just do a little bit of a Ken Burns effect. So it's going to do a little bit of a scroll and zoom in when you're using a still image. So you don't have to just use video, you can use still images as well in your movies here in iMovie. To edit a clip is very similar to the previous process. So we're just going to tap here and hit the edit clip button there. And you can see here, we can adjust the start and the end of the clip there. We can adjust different clips here and you can use all of the same editing tools and functions that you have available here in iMovie to make your movie customized to exactly how you want it. Let's hit the back button in the top now that we're happy with that. We're happy with our overall video. Once again, we can go into this button here. This is going to go back to that original options menu because I didn't show this at the start, but all of the default font and music, colors, and filters that we have here, we can adjust all of those. So you can choose different music here from either the included soundtracks or your own music. You can jump in here and adjust all the fonts and colors and filters. And I do cover how to use all this stuff in other videos here on the channel. So start experimenting or check out all the other videos linked down below. Once again, once you're happy with your movie, hit the done button there and it will dump it out here in your project. We can once again tap on this one and tap there we can change the name of this one if we wanted to adjust the name of the movie and we're ready to go we can once again share it here we can play it we can delete it we can jump back in and edit it so some very cool new functionality here in iMovie version 3.0 to make your movie making experience even easier